They're the kids on the MCG. We've seen that every day, and that's where the dream starts. There's no doubt about it, and uh, you can be sure there'll be parents at the G with them as well, enjoying the fact that their child is out there enjoying the game of cricket that we love as well. And uh, let's change to another sport. And we're talking about pro cycling, a new sport that I've just got myself into. I never thought I'd be a lycra wearer. <laughs> I haven't waltzed into a cafe yet, though. I bought myself a latte, but that's probably just around the corner. I'm not shaving my legs yet either. But a man who does it because he's a pro is Simon Clark. G'day, Simon. Thanks very much for Simon. having me, guys. Mate, thanks for coming on. I've, you're the, obviously the pro. I've got to lose some weight, don't I, if yeah. I'm going to get quicker on the bike? Ah, it's a good way to get back into shape and uh, get out there. Uh, it's really enjoyable to to get out on the bike and as we see these days a lot so many more people taking it up and getting out there on the road and, and buying bikes and it's great to see. Orica Green Edge. Oh, hang on. What's this photo has come up now? <laughs> that, that's, with my, that's with my new bike. Champion the, in the making. The giant Defy. So yeah. I've, I've got the uh, wheels. I've just got to work on the motor. <laughs> I think good. you just Very missed good. the stop go sign there. <laughs> I must say, that's about 20 past four in the morning and it was a, a hard pedal to work. I'm not sure about the fluoro. Yeah, oh, is, it's visible, you know. Is it's that, good, is it's good it to safe. be visible out is on the road. Is it naff, though, yeah. like as a, a pro rider, if you see someone like me in the fluoro, is it accepted? Look, I think it's not about what you wear. It's about getting out there and getting amongst <laughs> it. And uh, if fluoro is your colour, then go for it. <laughs> Mate, Orica Green Edge, you've just, uh, well, you've been with them for a number of years. You're moving on to a, another team come the start of the year but that's the Aussie team and how's it been? Oh, it's been a dream, literally a dream come true to, you know, the site with uh, professional cycling we spend so many years in Europe living in another country with uh, no contact with Aussies to then have the opportunity thanks to Jerry Ryan to have an Australian cycling team and really race with the boys in Europe. It's, it's been an amazing four years and uh, it's gone so quickly. I've, I've really enjoyed it. And what about your training? You know, you're a, you're a slight bloke. You're not. I, I would expect the big, big chunky legs to obviously to get the pace that you will. But uh, what's a typical training session? Uh, yeah, look, I think the secret with cycling is the lighter you are, the faster you can go, especially uphill. So uh, uh, it's we do a lot of k's every day. I, I suppose we'd average 120 to 140 k a day and uh, per day. Yeah. So this, the footage we were just looking there was from the, the Tour de France in 2013 when we won the team's time trial, which was uh, a super Great special moment. day for Green Edge, being mm. only the second year in existence and some European teams dream of a, a result like that for many years and only after basically a year and a half we, we'd already achieved it. So it was an amazing result. Simon, so, I'm, the, so the Tour de France, the, the, the Giro d'Italia, you've done all those. Um, I, I find it quite phenomenal how you, you can put your body through the day-to-day -day yeah. endurance side of it, the climbing of those uh, mountains. How does your body cope? Yeah, look, it's tough. Uh, I think the key is to prepare for the, for the race. So yes. we go out pre-Tour de France, pre-Tour of Italy, and basically ride the equivalent a couple of a month out and and that accustoms our body to the the training yeah, load right. and the race load that we're going to have coming up and uh yeah that that gives trains our bodies to recover and uh, it's surprising how how well your body can recover when you really deplete it and and have to back up day after day so you just punched out 180 k's and i hear that the next thing you do is just you know, lazy go out and ride 90 k's just to recover. <laughs> yeah. On their yeah, rest so, day, they go yeah. out for another ride. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in the Tour de France, it's a key on the rest days to make sure your body doesn't shut down. We ride so many long days in a row that to then have a complete day off the, the following day, our bodies just don't get going again. So uh, a day off in the Tour de France is not a day off the bike. It's just a day not pinning the number on. But uh, we definitely get out there for at least three hours. Lots of bike. bananas. Peter yeah. Siddle. Now, Simon, on, on January 9, you've got a, a fun run coming up and you can sort of ride what you ride as a, as a pro rider. Yeah, so... Uh, in 10 days, we have the national championships in, in Buninyong, and for the first year, we've got uh, the CA Grand Fondo, where the public can come in and ride the um, course that we're going to be racing on the day before. So I suppose nearly the equivalent of playing on the MCG mm, the day awesome. before the test. And anyone can enter and, and come and have a race, and there's actually a medal and a, a jersey up for the winner. And then you can stay on the next day and watch us uh, dispute for the, the national championship. There you go, you're so in. Oh. I think there's a, a definitely a challenge there <laughs> for you. <laughs> <slats. Yeah. laughs> no, no, I don't think I'm ready yet. I'm not, I've got a peak. Come fitness. on. No, fitness is not quite there. 
You'll be right. I'll just next year. Yeah. Next uh, year, I'll come. And, and look, it's a great thrill, Channel 9. We've got cycling on Channel 9, the Australian Road National Championship, January 6 to 10. Check your local guides. And the Santos Tour Down Under, January 17 to 24. All stages live on 9 and Gem. And if you'd like to be a part of the Santos Tour Down Under in Adelaide, visit tourdownunder.com.au. And just quickly there, that... The website for the Grand Fondo is cagrandfondo.com.au for anyone who wants to get a last-minute entry before next weekend. Simon, really. just technically, when you change team and you change bike, so you've come from Scott, you're going to Cannondale. Yeah. How hard is that? Yeah, for us that do so many kilometres on a bike every day, you know, a millimetre of difference for us is a, is a really is really noticeable. So then to go from one bike with one geometry to another one with different geometry, maybe a different seat sponsor or a different handlebar sponsor, the handlebars are different, they're integrated, they're not. It's, it's a big challenge for us. And so as soon as we finish with our previous team, we jump straight on the new bike and spend a good two months trying different seats and handlebars and bikes, models potentially, mm. to, to figure out what fits and what's going to be appropriate. It's fascinating. I'm going to keep him here for the rest of the day. I've got to work on the cadence and the power metres and the all saddle. that sort of stuff. Out of the saddle, in the saddle. Just trying to find a comfy saddle. Thank you, Simon. A real pleasure to meet you, guys. Mate. Appreciate it. Thanks Good luck for uh, 2016. We'll take a short break.